Well, when it comes to trans, you know, most um, little children who have gender dysphoria, which is extremely rare, um, grow out of it if they're left alone. Now they have um, it promoted to them, they have their flag, they have trans pride, they have, you know, it's pushed on them. I I think adults don't realise what is online. Um, What about the, I I know your your issue is obviously the thing you're interested in is is trans, but, you know, there's gay and lesbian in there as well. And it seems, you know, entirely possible that any member of my scout troop, you know, could have turned out to be gay in later life. Isn't it a good thing for that to be normalised? Yeah, I I think, yeah, and and again, if I can take it back to trans, most of the little children who are feeling that they they are the opposite sex turn out to be gay if they're left alone. It's it's why the two things shouldn't be connected, because they are very connected in, in the sense that that is very common for children children who, um, you know, who would be gay as adults to feel that way when they're children. But, but, but on um, the point of ne- that, that these badges, I t- and I say again, I, I totally accept your criticisms, but there is a flip side to them as well. That, that, that I, I, I'm focusing my, my, my on, the, on, the, on the gay and lesbian because I, I think that that's got a broader, pro- 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 <laughs> resonates with our, with our audience broad, more broadly. But, you know, this is something that rather, you know, being gay, being stigmatised, and I would also say, why should trans be stigmatised? These badges address that to some degree. I I, I don't know you can say a badge is going to force someone into question their gender identity or question whether they're gay or not. But if someone is questioning their gender identity or questioning whether they're gay or not, seeing a badge like this might make them feel better about themselves. Well, do you know what? I think I think gay and lesbian are being used as a Trojan horse to get trans into um, schools, into because we're in a you know in our society now we have the greatest acceptance for uh, lesbian and gay people that we've ever seen. We're in a, you know most of society accepts gay and lesbian but, people. But I hate, think gay hate crimes are, are, have gone up in the last twelve months. So not necessarily at school, well, but in, in broader wonder, society. But I wonder whether it's because the whole pride thing is being shoved down people's throats so much. Or, or that, that we still are homophobic institutionally, as, 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 as criticisms have been levelled well, at the police only yesterday, I, that they're institutionally homophobic, and that's why they were unable to uh, uh, do a very good investigation into the gay serial killer Stephen Port. So that, yes, that, and the, I, the, I take... Yeah. yeah, I take your point. There, there is, and there is in schools. There is still homophobia in schools, and there's, there is still a lot to do. Um, but I think what children need are role models. I think, the, you know, the Scouts could get in good role models of gay and lesbian people to, you know, yeah, I think yeah. there are ways of yeah, doing yeah. it that don't present it as, you know, I, it, it worries me that every sexual identity now has its own flag, yeah. that it's seen as an identity, and actual sec, actually sexual orientation is not an identity. It, it, it's a fact. Yeah, you know, although, and, again, and, Stephanie, and, I, I guess if you've been on the receiving end of sort of homophobic attacks, that you will then identify and find solidarity with people that have also gone through that experience. It's, it's, it's something I'm sort of talking, obviously, beyond my, my sphere of, uh, of knowledge. But uh, very, very interesting. I have to say, Stephanie, I think you, you, you played very fair by it because I... I am mindful of your concerns, but I'm also mindful of the fact that the Daily Mail loves nothing more than, than stirring up hate by poking, poking, at, at, poking at the trans community. They seem to be doing it on a, on a daily basis. Thank you.